It has been claimed that law enforcement officials are looking into allegations that Kanye West threw a woman's phone at her after she refused to stop photographing him and snatched her phone away from her. According to a video that has since gone viral, the rapper turned fashion designer became aware that he was being followed by paparazzi as he was leaving the basketball game that his daughter North was playing in. He is said to have gotten out of his car and challenged her while she was filming him from within her own vehicle. It is not known whether the woman was a pap or a simple fan of the celebrity in question. He reprimanded the woman who was holding her phone up to his face saying, you didn't have to run up on me like that. When I tell you to put away your cameras, you put them away. Ye allegedly lunged inside the woman's vehicle, seized her phone, and threw it away when she tried to argue that she could film him since he was famous. It is said that he accosted another paparazzi photographer as he was leaving. On the other hand, it is not apparent what he said to him in order to get him to back off. It is not clear how long the woman was allegedly photographing West, 45, or what took place just prior to West getting out of his car and confronting the woman. Deputy sheriffs from the Ventura County Sheriff's Department were reportedly shown the video proof of the event after being dispatched to the scene at approximately 4.30 p.m. as reported by TMZ sources within the Ventura County Sheriff's Department. According to the story from the source, photographs were taken of the woman as she was leaving the sheriff's station and interacting with police officers. According to TMZ's report, Wes is now being looked at as a possible suspect in the Battery Pro. However, that wasn't the only instance in which Wes pleaded with us to ignore him today. In another part of the video, after he had gotten back into his car, he pulled up in front of a group of paparazzi who were filming the entire event on camera. This took place after he had gotten back into his car. Do you want me to be interfering with the games that your children are playing? Ye informed the pap who responded by saying, there's a hundred of us in an attempt to defend himself from Ye's accusations. Everyone needs to be quiet when I go in the room with my children. You're not allowed to photograph me if I have to look at my children, Wes stated further. We call it respect for human rights. Again, when the paparazzi tried to argue that they were entitled to capture his photo because they were in a public street, Ye did nothing more than gaze at him before getting into the passenger seat of his car with his new wife, Bianca Sensori, who was 27 years old. Even though they severed connections from him, for making anti-Semitic comments on social media, Ye was seen shopping at Balenciaga with Sensori just one day before his confrontation with the paparazzi. He was spotted doing so with the Australian Easy employee, who was reportedly his wife and whom that he had married earlier this month in an informal ceremony. They were looking at the store's range of footwear. In spite of the fact that this new phase of Ye's life appears to be a happy one, insiders tell Page Six that the Kardashians are concerned about the hastily planned wedding. An informant revealed that the family has not yet accepted this arrangement as a marriage. They have no idea what it is, the speaker said. They are unsure whether it's a public relations stunt or not. They are keeping their fingers crossed that he will submit his paperwork soon. They are concerned because if the rumors are true, she would be a part of the children's lives. Following a series of anti-Semitic rants that he engaged in during the year 2022, this occurrence marks the latest issue for Wes, who goes by the name Ye. On January 19th, Insider's Haven Orecchio Egresis also reported that the Los Angeles Police Department has written and received 19,155 emails regarding the rapper and his hidden private school Donda Academy over the past two years. This information was reported by Insider's Haven Orecchio Egresis. A video of the incident has gone popular on Twitter, and users have voiced their opinions about how they feel about it. Some users feel that West should be left alone, while others believe that people have the right to photograph whomever they want. It was acceptable for him to request that she stop photographing him. Nevertheless, when he reached inside her vehicle and snatched her phone, the situation became unacceptable. This was not his place to do, and he shouldn't be allowed to get away with it, said one of the users.